Buenos dias, mi familia. How are y'all doing this morning? Welcome to Monday, lunes 16. All right. It's so good to be back. Let's say we were taking a vacation. I would say we were taking a spiritual cleanse. So make sure you do the same. Do a fasting. Do a cleanse. Do a healing. Do a ritual. Do something to make you feel more than worthy of what you are. For who you are matters above most. Foremost and beyond. Woo, we're getting very cosmic here. All right, Divine Mother, what do you have for us? Great hell, holy queen. Great mother and ascended master teens. Ancestors. I want to, I want to hear of the awe. Of the awe. The awe that is, the awe that will be, the awe that ever shall be, forever and ever, forevermore. All right, Divine Mother, where do we need to go? What do we need to know? Yes, you're right. I do need to change that, but give me a minute. Let's see. The sacred tree is looking at me. The sacred spirit reading cards. Let's see what you got. Look at these cards. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, and that's energy signature. The past is in the present. I reject and rebuke that. We're not dealing with any more caca, baloney, pony, jonies, honies, or homies that once were upon the past of the past of the past. Nah. Nah. <laughs> we're moving forward. We're moving on up. All right, Divine Mother, what you got for me? What do I need to tell this beautiful collective of our people? All right. Bottom of the deck. There it is. Energy signature. Once again, we put it in the past now. It's in the reverse. It's out. It's out. That's out. It's out. That's out. It's out. Something's out. Then we got the yin yang process here. We've got one up, one down. Up. What is up is meditation. Improvements required persistence. Oh, yes. Look at that card. Deep and retrospect. This is contemplating, analyzing your future, your future endeavors, the manifestations of manifestations. All that is. What is in the reverse is the dark night of the soul. Life begins new meaning. Wow. So some of you have exited the dark night of the soul. For the 117th time. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Let's go. We ain't afraid. And wow, look at that. As I'm putting these cards, as it's presenting it to me, look at this. You see that? The bubble of this face. Interesting. Um, ancestors. I hear, look at the blue. The blue is your integrity. The blue is your speaking. The blue is what you say is what you do. Are you doing as you say what you do and do as you say? If not, this is where you need to contemplate and look at. Are you speaking ill will about yourself and that reflection of yourself would be reflection of others. What you see in them is what you see in you. Okay. The yellow that's here is the wisdom that comes from such a knowledge of, of the blue waters. Las aguas azules are the celestials, the firstborn. Hmm. Firstborn, we're talking to you. Some of you. All of you or none of you, whichever it might be, is the road you will take. Don't you see? From the blue goes into black. Because if you're not speaking with such an intellect, 
with such value of yourself, of others, and the love of the purity that Divine Mother has for thee, you, don't you know that this is where it gets dark and gloomy and musky and rusty and tusky and it's a tusk of a musk of a fuss. But that's not what she wants for you. I want you guys to know that it is sprinkling outside. It is so pretty when it rains like that. It's like I see God grabbing a, wa a spray water bottle and it has the mist. Like the pssst. Like those little, like those, if fireworks didn't have a sound and all you would see was the pssst. <laughs> also, I do want to let you guys know. Do yourselves a favor and watch my videos at two times the speed. It's all worth it. For those of you who need it to be faster. <laughs> For those of you who get bored quicker because of the pausing, it throws you ah, ah. <laughs> You know, I didn't light an incense. Let's light an incense. The throat chakra! Patchouli! Ah, it smells so great. These are the dollar store people. It's a dollar twenty-five. Come on, don't you're not gonna break the bank with this. Get yourself some patchouli. Let's stick to the blue and make it everything blue so that you realize the purity that it is. And I want you to see something. You see that? Blue in the light is clear and transparent. Look. Clear and transparent. Look upon my shirt. You see that? You can see that there's three tones. Blue, orange, yellow. The throat chakra, the sacral chakra, and your solar plexus. And if you look and contemplate, on the card is blue, orange, and yellow. Why do ones, why do some go through the dark night of the soul and others don't? Why do some things happen to others and others don't get such a tragedy, such a state of mind, such a such a hard place at a hard time? It's like a, the unmovable rock with the unmovable force. The reason is you're not growing, you're not changing, you're not expanding, you're not trying to see others point of view trying to put yourself in their shoes not physically but literally metaphorically if it helps you to understand one another and that's why we go to such a dark place because we believe that our thoughts are your thoughts and your thoughts are my thoughts uh, don't you love as i do don't you speak as i speak don't you want a better tomorrow as I do? Some people don't like change because it could be a trauma of when everything fell apart for them. It could be something that they fear to go back and be or realize or the roots or where they're from or the families or you know, it's, it's this, um, it's realizing that the people in your life tormented you and you may not even see that or understand that because it was a joke. They made it out to be as a joke, but it wasn't funny for you, was it family? Now, when somebody hurts you, it is the mirror effect they see you as a person of such honor and grace that they can expose their vulnerabilities to you and you wouldn't judge them as broken or beaten or disarray or whatever the case might be. You would be there for them and understand. 
and sometimes when you are there for them and and be there for them and understand that's a trigger in itself because oh now you think you're better than me because i'm coming at you and you're being all heart love and kumbaya bitch when one is hurting they will fight you in all types of ways because they want you to fight them that is their key because if you fight them, that means you are just like they are. And that's what they're going to say. And that's what they're going to preach. And that's what they're going to tell everybody when you're trying to make yourself better. When you're trying to expand your life. When you're trying to be better than you were before. Yesterday. A week ago. Past three months. Fuck last year. Seven years ago. Whatever the case might be for you, it could be 11, 7, whatever. We have 11 and 27 here on the field and 14. So if your birthday is 11, if your birthday is 27, or your birthday is on the 14th, or you're a master number 11. And here's why. If you have a number 11 on your natal chart, you are a master intuitive because you understand and know why the darkness is in some and not in others why you have mastered your own darkness and can now see it in others and so you don't be on them you know that your life that you are on right now you are creating it from the past that you have learned from the lessons that were given to you to grow and expand because if you're not growing and expanding you're stuck and stagnant because you want to keep being the same delinquent kid partying doing drugs or because you're you're escaping a certain reality but once upon a time what i could have shed shed what you needed to shed instead of said nothing needed to be said you needed to shed that person shed that club experience baseball team whoever was making you feel less breathe than worthy and allow. breathe and allow we are now activating and transmitting the arcturian golden keys technologies the golden keys the illumination of your wisdom of understanding the darkness from one another. This is that higher knowledge of manifesting that life that you truly want and how it is there for you. And nobody can steal it. Nobody can um, take it from you. It's written, encoded for you. Others may try to be as you are, but never will fulfill such big shoes. That is her wisdom of Divine Mother 1331. So be that one to know the difference. With much love and light.